Hello everyone, welcome back to another round of the mini crossword. I'm about to hit play so that that way we can start the timer exactly when they start. We don't have to do any fancy math. And I'm sorry guys, um, sadly I did not get to do the mini crossword yesterday. We had to meet my mom uh, near the Albany, New York area. It's uh, kind of like our little annual tradition to for the whole family to meet up with her. Uh, but I will say that we played the game in the car. Uh, my daughter had it on her phone and we did succeed, okay? So we did nail that. And that was pretty cool. But now it looks like we've got a big one. So give me a little bit of time. This will be a lot of fun. And let's see how Art can do on today's Saturday. Not so many. Crossword. Let's hit play. And let me just double check. Ooh, I just have to move myself. I'll just make myself a little bit smaller here so I don't block. Oh, look at all those clues I'm blocking. Um, but that's okay. Let's just go like this. That's fine, right, guys? And yeah, we're going to lose a few seconds on that. But that's okay. 15 seconds we can take off, right? Thin trail of smoke. A thin trail of smoke. Oh, we'll get that later. It's men you might have headers of sparkling red and white. Um, I'm not sure. We'll also figure that out. Orange fruit that's often eaten dried. Um... Well, you can do uh, you can do dried mango, banana, but that doesn't quite fit. So we'll move on. Six o'clock TV fair, Scrabble piece. Okay, that I think has got to be a tile. I'd be disappointed if it was anything other than that. Folk tale foe of the forty thieves. Not sure. Fourth slot in a basketball in a baseball lineup. Oh. So let's see. Um, that's got to be your, I think that would be your slugger, okay? I think that's a slugger. Um, and we'll be able to verify that pretty soon. When you make sure to drink enough water, you hydrate. And that, those letters look very, eh, sort of good. Except what's one down ending in GR? That's funny. Its menu might have headers of sparkling red and white. How about 11 down? Actress de Armas. However, okay, so that would be yet for 12 down. Great blank house, part of the Smithsonian National Zoo. Um, that's kind of a funny kind of funny clue there. I mean, what would really go there? Or, um, okay, what is, to, okay, eh, let's see, this is getting a little interesting here. I'm not too nervous yet. Uh, let's do five down. Email action symbolized by a paperclip. Um, oh, goodness, what do you do with the paperclip, guys? Huh. Email action symbolized by a paperclip. Um, can't quite think of it. City known for its cheesesteaks informally. All right, here we go. So that's Philly. It's funny, isn't it, guys? Whenever it's a food clue, I kind of nail it. Although I am having trouble with the orange fruit, the sparkly red and white. But I am keeping myself hydrated. Okay. It, by the way, it is insanely hot and humid today here in the Boston area. It's all, I mean, it's just uh, sweltering hot. It's good to be indoors. Seven down, depended upon. Okay, so I see what's going on here. We do have a little bit of an issue here. So that's relied. So, which is good because now we're not going to mess things up. Um, we're not going to mess things up anymore. So that's not really... Um, so, so let's get rid of this slugger, okay? I just don't think that's going to be correct anymore. Although I do like the, the, the E there. Fourth slot in the baseball lineup. What the heck do you call him? He's the... Oh, first, second, third. I mean... Fourth slot in the baseball lineup. I mean, you want some power there. 
Cl oh, is it cleanup? Yes, cleanup. He's called the cleanup hitter, right? Because the other guys hopefully got on base and he's going to clean up, clean it up. So that means, okay, that's fine. It's not yet. It'll probably be but. Ooh, okay. And I get, I guess that's probably the great ape house. That would make sense for a zoo. And then now this turns into but, okay? All right. Oh, and then now the paper clap is to, is to attach a file. And then 10 across is Alibaba. That makes a lot more sense. Anna looks good for an actress's name. Now we're making some progress here, right, guys? All it takes is just like one good um, solve and the whole thing just sort of like catches on fire. One down the thin, oh, sorry, one across. I don't know that yet. Um, it's many might have headers of sparkling red and white. So it's obviously something bar. Um, we'll get that. Five across. Okay, so it's an apricot. Interesting. That makes sense. Uh, the six o'clock TV fair. The news. And maybe that's not a, not, it's got to be a tile, right? Um, wine bar. Okay. Wine bar. Okay. That's, that makes sense. And the things, um, I think it's a, it's a wisp. So let's just go ready. I'm going to go W I S P and then hopefully we're going to get some nice jazz music. So two down will be, yes, that's ice. And then a female pig is a sow and points. <laughs> A little on the slow side, right? We can say six six minutes on the dot. Okay, guys, is that fair? Because I did start about 15 seconds late. Um, but that's actually pretty good. And again, I kind of like it. Um, you know, no hints, no errors. Yeah, I'm just sort of like, you know, tiptoeing my way through. I can't like just, you know, what would be amazing, I'm sure some of you can do this, is just like only work off of one set of clues, like either the acrosses or the downs. That would be the most efficient way to do the puzzle, right? And you just don't even read the other set of clues if you just can nail them. That would be insane. People who can do that will probably get these crosswords in, you know, easily under 30 seconds. Yeah, we'll have to settle for six minutes. But I feel pretty good, guys. That wasn't bad. Please let me know. How did you guys to do, do today? Did you find any of them tricky? What was your time? I'm sure that most of you were probably more in the four-minute neighborhood. And, of course, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for yet another round of the mini crossword.